So this is the mega shader that I've created for Unity and it's designed for Unity 5 and it works with the PBL, the physically based lighting. Uh, here I'm changing the base color of the whole object just as you would with any normal shader and the spec color is also, you can change those values. And the gloss value as well. And this is uh, the first detail map, which is masked out by the red channel. So if you paint red on the model and export that as a mask, then that will be channeled through to detail mask one. Here we're just changing the values of the normal map and the diffuse map to get slightly different results. They don't have to match. It's good to make the the diffuse map a little bit less tiled than the normal map for a nice result. Changing the values of the specular, specular color of the detail mask too. And going ahead and changing these values to get slightly more detail. Uh, that would be masked by the blue channel. So those are basically painted in blue. And it's better if it's a solid blue, otherwise it will get mixed with the other things. It's entirely up to you if you want to mix them. This is uh, Detail Mask 3, which is masked out by the blue channel. And you can uh, paint blue in any part of the model and it will inherit this material. And again, you can tile those up to get more detail. And change different values to dial that in and out. So as long as you have a RGB mask for whatever model that you're making, you can mix in three different materials over and above the base material that it, that you export your textures with. Yeah, I'm just dial it, dialing these in and out until I get something that I like visually. That oh, looks fine. Okay, so if we scroll down here, we've got uh, an AO boost just to enhance. Kind of works as an an, emiss an emissive map, or just dials in and out the AO. And these are just some other values to do with the dirt which lands on the top of the model. And we can bring that in and out, and uh, it's purely um, top-down based in the world so you can rotate the model and it constantly goes to the top. Pretty handy for a situation where, re where you're reusing the same model in a scene and you can rotate the model and it could inherit dirt and dust in the top of it. And we can go ahead and change those colours just to be a bit more like dirt. pretty much it and uh, dial these in and out to get different effects it could even act as snow if you wanted and change everything to white and it would be like snow landing on top of something this is a little volt meter model that I made and you can feel free to use that or experiment I'm just changing the sky and updating the reflection probe and you can see it inherits the environment tones so that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed it and it should be on the asset store now thank you